Right guys, um, I'm back this week. Uh, I don't have Basho Adam next to me. Uh, I've decided to bring in one of our youngest stars that's coming through our programs. Uh, Basho and Adam were probably getting a little bit too slow for me and couldn't keep up. So I thought um, bringing Malika Fakahani, who's won a Basho Huli medalist last year and, and been on international trips. So how are you going and how's Ramadan treating you and how's your training going? Yeah, alhamdulillah, um, Ramadan's treating me well. Working from home, from school, so I'm loving that. You know, you get to work at your own pace and everything. But um, yeah, I've just been finding that during Ramadan, you just have to alter your training times a little bit so with the help of you and Bash you know they've helped me adjust to what time I should be training when like what I should be filling my body with after training and yeah alhamdulillah I'm enjoying it two to three days a week because health done on training so hopefully I can keep up that pace for the next few weeks. Good man let's hope you can keep up with me because Bash and Adam haven't been so um, today what we're going to do with, with Malik um, we thought we'd go through some speed and acceleration stuff and a bit of agility as well uh, Malik's is, he's one of his strengths is his speed but he wants to obviously improve that as well so um, we'll go through some, some drills and then do some goal kicking at the end is a goal kicking forward uh, we'll talk a little bit about routine and how important it is to actually have a routine as well so um, we'll get that done and when we finish off we'll finish off our last couple of efforts with some 80 meter runs um, like I said today's all about high high speed um, especially with footy around the corner you need to get our bodies in hammy's conditions obviously the repeated efforts and, and speed and, and sprinting so um, let's get into it mate good luck So for our first agility drill, we've got the Y agility drill. So really basic, you're gonna come up to the middle cone, you're gonna to push to the right, back, make sure you're using your arms on the way back, accelerate back to the left side, use your arms on the way back. As soon as you get to this cone, really explode. Second agility drill, we've got the zigzag drill, so pretty basic. You start obviously down here, you get to the first cone, really sharp turn, turn again, and on the third cone, make sure obviously as you come, you're accelerating, you decelerate as you get to this cone, but also have a gate like we did in the first drill, so you can kind of get there and have it five meters away and really push through and sprint through that last last bit. So that's obviously gonna teach you to run under fatigue, but also teach you a bit of sharpness as well for your footwork as well. So make sure we're really strong in our core, short steps around the cone, um, and explode on that last one and get through the last gate. So for our last acceleration drill, we've got a 20 meter sprint. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously start, have obviously a cone zero and have your gate at 20 meters and have a cone at the five meter mark and a 10 meter mark. You should be getting, by the time you reach the 10 meter mark, you should be hitting top pace. So obviously gradually build up your pace for 10 meters and then for the ne next 10 meters, really hold your top pace and then obviously get through that gate. Don't stop at the gate, always aim for something afterwards. Especially for the guys that have done testing before or who will do testing in the future. Never obviously stop at the gate when you do a 20 meter sprint, always aim for something behind the gate that you can push through that way obviously you don't slow down as you get to the finish line. All right, um, that's done. We did uh, six efforts of 20 meter sprints. Uh, we obviously alternated our starts to make sure that we're all, not always obviously doing a standing start. We did some ground starts, side on starts. Um, really important that you do mix up your starts because in a game, you're never just gonna be on your feet. You're gonna be up and down, jumping on the ground. So really get used to changing, obviously the way you start with your 20 meter sprints. But also it's really important that you have a bit of time in recovery. Really take your time. It's not a, it's, there's no rush to get your second or third rep in. Um, just make sure you get your recovery in because you don't want to blow up your hammies and you want to obviously make sure that you're reading your, reaching your max um, speed by the end of that 20. All right, so uh, we'll get into some goal kicking. Uh, Malik, you're forward. Um, how important is goal kicking to you? 
Yeah, I mean, especially as a forward, it's basically what, what you need to do. It's what you're in the team for. But um, even if you're playing down back up forward, everyone loves to kick a goal. So if you do have the chance or the opportunity inside 40 metres, you want to have a shot at goal, want to make sure you can back yourself in and have the confidence to kick it. Awesome. Do you have a routine as a forward? Yeah, of course. So Something. what's what's your routine? My routine is um, I go back, flick the uh, grass in the air, spin the ball three times, seven steps, and then my last three, eight, nine, ten, gain momentum, kick through the ball, follow through. Yeah, spot on. So Malik mentioned a couple of really important things. First, he has actually got a routine, which is probably the main thing. The other thing is he keeps the ball nice and straight, he follows through, and obviously has a bit of momentum with his kick, and obviously um, can, can lean, lean forward and follow through the ball. So we'll go through a little bit of that, work on his goal kicking technique, and maybe at the end we'll have a little bit of a, bit of a challenge and uh, see if I can uh, teach him a thing or two. We spoke about if you've got a routine um, and it's probably easy for you to, to have a shot at goal, but if you don't have a routine, um, a couple of things you should be doing is making sure, you know, you aim for something really high at the goal so you actually can kick to that thing behind the goal. So I, I try it for me personally, something really high. And as I get to my last three steps, I gather a bit of momentum um, and then kick through, follow through the ball and I have my eye on the ball. I know where the goals are, so I don't need to look at them again. Alright, um, we just finished our goal kicking, uh, so now just to finish off our session, just to get a bit more K's in the legs, we're just going to do some 80 metre strides, uh, so we're going to do them not relatively too hard, we're going to do them at 15 on and 30 off, so going to give us a bit of a break, but we really want to push through and make sure we get that between that 12 to 15, I'm going to say, um, get that 80 metre, so high speed, about 80%. Um, and then we'll rest for about 30 seconds and go again. So we're going to do eight of them um, and then we'll finish off our session after that. All right, that's our session done. Uh, after our running, we did some snaps and, and some leading. Obviously, working our forward craft by forward, it's good to have someone to train with. So, Malik, how'd you find the session? Yeah, it was good working hard, working well on the agility, working on our craft, like you said, up forward. So, uh, yeah, good session. Thanks uh, for having me. Really good. Thanks, Malik, for joining us. And obviously, you got a sack in about an hour, so we've yeah. got to get you home. And um, thanks for, for tuning in, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.